NFC stands for Near Field Communication. These devices are passive, and when they are close to another device, they get their power from it. You can put these tags anywhere in your home to make smart devices work. They don't need a power source. Your smart device must be able to use NFC. Let us show you the NFC Tags Edition's 15 creative home automation ideas. Number 15. Sharing Wi-Fi Passwords when people come to visit, they often want to know what the Wi-Fi password is. By making an NFC tag with the ID and password already on it, they don't have to look for the router ID and password. All they have to do is put their phone near the tag and they can easily connect to the network. This feature is on Android and iOS phones, but they do it in different, more complicated ways. NFC tags make it easy and quick no matter what device you use. Number 14. Play your vinyl record collection or favourite artist digitally. Many people have valuable collections of vinyl records that they don't want to play all the time. Or you could put up posters of artists. You can play it digitally by putting an NFC tag on each poster or record that starts a Spotify version or playlist of that album or artist. The same is true for CD or even cassette collections since many people don't have the tools they need to play them. This is also a great way to share music when friends come over. Number 13. Play treasure hunt games online. Most kids have their own smartphones now, so why not make treasure hunt games smarter with a stack of NFC tags? Each can have a different clue, such as a text or a link to a video or music clip. These clues help players get to the next one. These can lead to a physical prize at the end of the hunt and a great way to add a modern twist to party games or birthdays. Number 12. Open or close the garage door. If you have a smart garage door, one thing you might not think about is how far away the closest smart speaker is. Instead of keeping a smart speaker on in your garage so you can open and close the door, you could use an NFC tag which doesn't need any power. Just put tags on the inside and outside of the garage and the door will open when you tap your phone against it. Number 11. Keep some smart home routines to yourself. Many smart home routines are triggered by sensors or voice commands, meaning anyone can set them off. This isn't ideal if the kids find out the command for your sexy bedtime routine. You might want some just for you, so you could make an NFC tag that starts a lighting theme and Alexa playlist or sets the thermostat or water settings to your liking. Put the NFC tag somewhere out of the way but still useful and all you have to do to use your private themes or other smart home features is hold your phone up to it. Number 10. For a physical way to turn on and off smart lights. Suppose you have smart lights instead of smart light switches. In that case, it can be hard not to press the switch every time you walk into a room, and some family members find it hard to use the voice commands instead of physical switches. You could replace the dumb switch with a smart one, but an NFC tag is a quick and cheap way to keep the physical switch. Just attach it to the switch, and family members can still turn the light on and off by tapping their phones against it. Number 9. Get car ready more easily. Most people find that when they put their phone in the car holder, it just sits there and they must manually open directions or driving mode. But suppose your phone holder has an NFC tag on the bottom. In that case, you can use the phone to do various things, like open the Maps app, check the traffic on your usual route, or play your favourite driving playlist. This lets you keep your eyes on the road and saves time when you first get in the car. Number 8. Easily pair to a Bluetooth speaker. Some Bluetooth speakers already have NFC hardware, so you can tap the speaker to play the music. Most don't, but connecting them with an NFC tag is easy. By adding the connect to Bluetooth device command to your NFC tag, you don't have to go to Bluetooth settings and look for the device. That makes it easier to plan events, especially if you have friends over for playlist parties or other events. Number 7. Get a reminder to take medicine. Putting an NFC tag on the top of the medicine bottle can help people with long-term conditions remember if they have taken their medicine or not. You could do this in several ways, but we suggest setting a regular alarm that can only be turned off by tapping your phone on the correct NFC tag, which you would then put on the right medicine bottle. At the same time, you can also use the same NFC tag to let a caretaker know that the medicine has been taken. Number six, wake up on time. 
It's too easy to tap the snooze button on your phone when you should get up. Start your day off right by putting an NFC tag somewhere else that can turn off the alarm. Put it on the bathroom door or near the coffee maker or kettle to start your day off right. Hint, if you have an Android device and use the Sleep as Android alarm app, you can use NFC tags to turn off the alarm before you try to set up your own in Tasker. Number five, keep track of what you have in storage. When we need to store things, many of us put them in bigger boxes and leave them, sometimes for years. You can track what goes where better if you link a list on your phone to the NFC tag. This can open the list when you tap it, so you'll always know what's in the box without having to open it. You can also add and remove items from the list as the box contents change. Number four, lock your shed or garden gate. If you have a smart lock in your backyard, you probably won't be close enough to a smart speaker to use your voice to open or close it. The next best thing is to put an NFC tag near the lock. When you tap your phone on it, the lock will open. The good thing is that only your phone can open the lock. Since it's waterproof, you can use it anywhere. Number three, trigger your good night routine without waking the family. Everyone with a smart home has a good night routine that includes turning off the lights, locking the door and setting an alarm for the following day. But it might be a bit annoying if someone is sleeping next to you and you turn it on with your voice. Instead, put an NFC tag on the nightstand where you leave your phone and have that start the routine. You can set up the same routine on several phones and whoever goes to bed last can put their phone on the tag. Number two, launch a website. Sometimes you might want to tell someone to go to a particular website. This can be hard, especially if it's not a simple website address. You can write the URL to an NFC tag instead of making them type out a long random URL. When tapped, it opens the user's mobile browser and takes them to the site you want. Number one, make payments. NFC makes it possible to pay without touching a card reader using services like Google Pay or Apple Pay. Contactless payments are standard in many places around the world. In fact, many food stores and convenience stores in the US prefer contactless payments. Both Apple Pay and Google Pay let you keep track of how much you spend, look at your spending habits and store coupons. Also, if you choose NFC payments, you don't have to carry other ways to pay with your phone. That's all for today. What did you think of the video? Let us know about your favorite part of the video in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more home automation videos, subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and I will personally reply to your comment. See you next time. Thanks for watching.